The East Coast gambling mecca of Atlantic City has been tempting people to try their luck since the 1920s. Timothy Johnson and Tracy Harmon are heeding that call and heading to Atlantic City for the weekend. But their luck is about to run out. I planned a trip to Atlantic City, and I invited Tracy. I had never been to Atlantic City before, so I was very excited to go. We were just ready to leave when my daughter called, and she wanted me to watch the kids for her. Oh, hi, sweetie. What's up? And I kind of acted as if I had a cold. Oh, wow. <coughs> I'm very sick, honey. I don't believe that I'll be able to make it this weekend. <coughs> she lied. <laughs> Told a blatant lie. Once in Atlantic City, Tracy and Timothy hit the casinos. I go with the attitude that I'm going to win, and most of the times I do. By the end of the weekend, the couple has won more than $300. Yeah, I was on the road. It was a good night. But once their weekend getaway is over, it's time for Tracy and Timothy to get back to their daily lives. When myself and Timothy got on the bus, um, we were very tired from the day before. It was cold outside. It was in the winter time, So it was kind of chilly. The bus driver accommodates the passengers and turns on the heat. I looked at Timothy and I said, there goes a roach. I'm not paying any mind. I'm from New York. I've seen roaches before. I'm looking at him. I'm, I'm waiting for the opportunity to smash him, squash him. But before I did that, I noticed another roach. And then somebody noticed another roach. Cockroaches love heat. It's a nesting place for them. They can uh, mate there, lay their eggs there, and, they, and it's good hatching conditions as well. It seemed like when one came out, he brought his whole family, three or four generations out with him. They fell from the ceiling onto my back. Timothy's trying to help me get them off of my back. Get them off, get them off, get off my back. <laughs> They're fast. So if you're going to win the game, you got to move fast. They were falling on her back. They were falling in people's head. They were flicking roaches out. They were all over the place. I estimate that bus probably had between 10 and 15,000 roaches. They ran us off the bus. That was their coach, and they ran us off the bus. We tried to make it to New York with them, but there was no way. Who's to say that when they dropped out of those vents, they didn't drop into someone's purse, luggage? Bringing home a roach as a souvenir from Atlantic City is not what I had in mind at all.